for Microsoft to be successful at E3 this year, they need to deliver games. And I'm not talking about more of Psychonauts 2, and while showing indies is nice, we need to see the big boys step up. Forza, if it's shown, will be loved by car people, but that doesn't count. We need gameplay of Perfect Dark. We need gameplay of Fable. We need gameplay of Avowed. You remember that one? And to cut this off before I see it in the comments, while Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft, they don't feel like an exclusive developer. At this moment, if Bethesda announces an amazing new game, that is not a win for Xbox. They don't quite feel part of the family yet. What we need are the legacy crown jewels, or new ones. I already mentioned three games, but we all know what I'm talking about. Halo needs to show up. Not just be there, it needs to prove why it exists. Something that it hasn't done since 2010. Now that might be controversial or not, depending on where you land on the Halo scale. I personally did not grow up with the franchise. I've got no nostalgia to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. This meaning I started the series in 2020 and recently finished Halo 5. I got through all of that 20 year long franchise in just under one to be ready for Halo Infinite. With my newcomer eyes, I can tell you that Halo 4 and 5 are both mediocre video games on a Halo curve. 343 Industries has not been able to get anywhere close to the highs of Bungie and are closer to the absolute lows. You may not agree with my ranking of the games, but there is no denying that Halo 5 is widely considered to be not a good game. I hope Halo shows up, I hope Microsoft does well, and honestly, I blame the fans for not having more questions about the story of Halo Infinite, like, where Halo 5's story ends, how could people not be extremely confused about everything going on?